Yeah, hi there. These comments are for MK and I am Michael Buckoff, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the seven step system to pass a TOEFL IBT. And in this case, I'm actually going to listen to part B. You just finished part A, right? And you're going to answer these three questions. Now, I can actually give you some, uh, some good tips right now. So after part A, uh, here are the lessons you want to focus on the most. You might want to write these down. Lesson number seven, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And then lesson number 23 and 24. So I recommend you go through all of my pronunciation lessons at least one or two times for sure, but focus more on the lessons I just outlined uh, in this video. Okay, let's go to part B now. Answer the following question. Do not write or outline or practice your answer. Speak as natural as you can. So speak as naturally as you can. So sometimes when you're reading, you're not pronouncing all of the necessary words that you're saying, and that can hurt your intelligence. What is your education background and your work history? Okay. So my answer for this question, my education background, medical background. I'm a pharmacist, so I'm improving my speaking to get my license as a pharmacist. Okay. What is important for you to improve your speaking and pronunciation ability of American English? I'm living in America, so I'm planning to certify as a pharmacist. And I like to work as a professional pharmacist. Many of, of patients need to understand me and I need to communicate with them. Yes. Now, because you want to be a pharmacist, you have a special, a very important obligation to really work on your intelligibility because a lot of people who go to the pharmacy, uh, they're older people, they're elderly, and they don't hear so well. So they're not going to be able to hear you very well in the first place. So if you have a non-native speaker accent and they can't hear you very well, that's going to spell trouble. So this is very important for you, and it makes a lot of sense that the pharmacy board would require a very high speaking score because they want to make sure that the pharmacist can communicate with the patients, many of whom are elderly. Does that make sense? So you really got to take this seriously. To give them the right medication and the right instruction. Okay. So the last question, what do you hope to achieve in this course? So I hope to uh, adjust my accent to okay. be more understandable from uh, any patient and right. to pass my TOEFL test with uh, with a score 26 and over. So I'm planning to get over 26. Okay. And I trust you. Um, very soon I will do it. So. All right. I don't know about soon. It may take longer than you think. I'm going to be honest with you. You have a very strong non-native speaker accent, and that does not, uh, you can't eliminate that as quickly as you think. But here are some things that you can do uh, that's going to help you. Now, one thing I want to do here is I'm going to give you what's called an intelligibility score here. So one is high beginner, and then uh, seven is near native speaker. Uh, I'm going to put you in the four area, the low four, 4.1 out of seven. So as I said, you definitely have some intelligibility issues, and that's why I recommended the lessons that I did. Now, in addition to going through my pronunciation lessons, which is important, you have to do much, much more than that. So you're probably already doing these things, but let me give you some suggestions. Watch maybe three or four movies a week. Each movie is about two hours, and really pay attention to how the speakers communicate how they talk. You can even practice kind of imitating the speakers in the movies. So that's really good. Do that. Uh, in addition, make sure you're watching TV, you're watching news, maybe history, 
documentary and news type programs, things of that nature. That's going to also give you some really good English. And again, it's giving you more exposure so that you can hear the language, which is also good. So these are all things that you can do right now to improve your speaking and intelligibility. But the most important thing, MK, this is it. Number three, find opportunities to speak English with native speakers. Really find as many opportunities as you can. That's also very important. All right. And uh, thank you for doing the pre -t